This is what a lot of the southeastern U.S. used to look like at one time. 90 million acres of the southeast was once longleaf pine ecosystem. Today, less than 5% of that remains. This is Little River Spring. We're in the Munson Sand Hills, Apalachicola National Forest, downtown Tallahassee, Florida, Fort White Wildlife and Environmental Area. I'm in a habitat known as a seepage bog, a museum known as the Grove. Throughout this series, we're gonna talk about what this habitat once was, what it became over time, and what's being done today to restore it. Within those walls came the ideas that drive the way we manage longleaf pine ecosystems today. Smokey the bear was wrong. He was wrong! This is an agricultural field, basically the ecological equivalent of a cornfield. They took the sap, they cooked it, and they were able to make all sorts of things. We just stumbled upon something that's truly a treasure to see. I feel like I'm not over-exaggerating this, right? These really are rare animals. Mm -hmm. I like to be in good company, people that know things more than I do. They have sacks of pollen, and each species has its own specific shape of that sack. This is what we're using to catch the pine snake. So this is a box trap. He broke a lot of the barriers that existed for women at the time. In the early 2000s, all the populations out here just up and vanished. There are a lot of species that are moving into this environment. If you build it, they will come. The longleaf pine ecosystem is essentially the tropical rainforest of our own backyard. Join me as we explore one of the rarest, but also one of the most special habitats on Earth, the fire forest. Let's go.